Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jay from jamarsguiding.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create and set up campaigns in Google Ads. So let's head over to my desktop to get started. Okay, so now that we're in my desktop, I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign in Google Ads. So this is a new account, so there's really no data right now. So what you want to do to start is hit the blue plus button and hit new campaign. So let's say we have a website and we want to generate leads for our business or just for our website. So you want to hit leads. That's the uh, the goal for the campaign, and the campaign type is a search ad. Uh, next, you want to select which type of goal you want to reach. Um, so you would hit website visitors. Uh, right here, you so you input your website URL which is optional so I'm not going to do that but if you want you can put in your URL right here hit continue and now you want to name your campaign so I can name it search ad 2019 all right and so now you have networks uh, typically with networks um, I used to check off the display and search network. The reason being is because uh, display really just shows your search ads all over the internet and pretty much just puts it in irrelevant spots. So you're pretty much just wasting your ad spend at the same time. And the same thing goes for a search network. Um, it's more relevant because it shows uh, your search ads to places across the internet using the keywords that you're targeting but sometimes it doesn't really target or kind of spend your your budget in the relevant spots as well so we're just going to leave those two checked off okay so next we're going to look at the settings so it's just starting end date settings typically with this um you can set a start and end date, especially if you're running like a promotion or sale at the time. So you can have a start and end date for that. Uh, this is a more of an advanced setting for your campaign targeting. Um, use that as well as the search and dynamic search ad setting. I don't use that as well. Next, uh, we're going to look at targeting and audiences. So with the location, you want to set the location for where you're pretty much trying to target location. Um, so I'm targeting the U.S. That's where I live. And next, you want to hit, if you want to go more in depth, you can actually hit the advanced search. And let's say if you live in Jackson, Mississippi, you can target there. And you can actually target people that are 20 miles, 20 plus, or well, one to 500 miles in the Jackson area. So let's see if I can get it to show. So this is a 20 mile radius. So we can have a, a radius of uh, one to 500 miles. All right. So let's get out of here. So that's uh, location targeting. And then for the location options, you want to select the second one. The second option and this is the people in your target location is any of the other ones going to be targeting outside of your uh, target area and then the same thing for exclusions you want to uh, hit the second location and exclude people hit the uh, selection of people that are in your excluded location uh, next um, language of course english and then for audiences this is for mainly for retargeting purposes so let's just browse through here real quick. So it's hitting people on your re remarking list and similar audience, um, people that are in market. So people that are actually uh, looking to buy certain items and services. 
and uh, demographics as well, like marital, marital status, parental status, education, and um, home ownership status, whether you own a home or rent. All right. Next is your budgeting and bidding strategy. So here, uh, you can just select the budget that's um, okay for you. And um, let's start pretty modest. So $25 a day is pretty good. And now you have your delivery method. You have standard and accelerated. Um, I, most of the time, since it's a search ad, I select standard, but you don't want to put it on accelerated because the this pretty much just tells Google to pretty much run your ads at a more faster rate and it causes your your budget to run out real early so you don't want that to happen so we're going to leave it on standard so next we're going to choose your bidding strategy so for bidding strategy you have eight types of bid strategies and so um, what i usually typically go for is a uh, manual cpc the manual cpc uh, it gives you more control of your spend as well as your bids um, for each keyword that you're bidding for. Let's see what we have here. Um, conversions, we'll leave that alone. Uh, this is your ad schedule, whether you want to show your ads all day, every day, or if you have a business that has business hours like 8 to 5, 9 to 5 set those hours in the ad schedule column right here and you can set it for pretty much different days of the weeks or monday through friday or just saturday and sunday as well and now you have ad rotation and so our ad rotation uh it's usually um defaulted on uh optimized for to prefer the best performing ad, uh, take it off, do not optimize. You want your ads to rotate indefinitely, meaning you want it to hit all your ads that's in your ads, in your ad set. So to really hit, um, see which ones to optimize for and which ones perform the best so you can have a better result in split testing and see which ad is a high performer or a low performer and you can split test those ads and uh, create a new ad to actually test for, for more results as well. So now you have ad extensions, uh, you have site links. So I don't have any site links added right now. Um, I'll probably go over this in another video on how to create site links and what are they used for. Um, they're pretty much used uh, to just add a little bit more real estate to your your search ad and just give the viewer um, other places to go directly onto your website. So site links are probably like the home, the about page, uh, your services, and then a call out pretty much just uh, calls out different services and uh, products that you have. And the call extension is like the call button that are on your search ads that uh, visitors can click on to actually call your business. And so I'm going to hit save and continue. And so the next step is uh, actually setting up and your ad groups and keywords. And so that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, that's how you set up a campaign in Google ads. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to comment down below other uh, video ideas that I can create for you guys. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get more informative videos like this. All right, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.